Saini and a man that you know well, Sarah, Bradley Sindon. Yes, from my hometown, Doncaster. We do, we've done quite a little Manchester, bit of uh, media work in Doncaster, me and Bradley. Up next, we have our second. First out, fighting in blue, is Mirisham Hosseini from Iran. You mentioned the media work, no stranger to the commentary box as well. Bradley Sindon adding his analysis, as is our expert, Sarah Stevenson, Mirisham Hosseini. Big win there against Kim Salt Bay. Yeah, it was a great match actually before. Very, very close match. Just taking that win at the end. And also taking a win against Hamad Agawash of Jordan, the Olympic champion. So he's on form, Hirsini. The little Joseph McGrady there from WLM. Good man, Joe McGrady, on the way in there. As you can see, the mascot in position. Fighters are ready, but of course, it takes two to fight as Mirashim Hosseini finds his way to the centre of the ring. And of course, as you can expect, here in Manchester, the local boy, Bradley Sindon, will be obviously the partisan home crowd's favourite, but maybe not the favourite in this one. Toss of a coin stuff, Mirashim Hosseini has all the skills. Bradley Sindon He's has the opportunity. From Great Britain, is Bradley Sindon! I've got bringing out Bradley Sindon, another Doncaster girl, Elizabeth Adamson. She wanted to bring Bradley out knowing that he was from Doncaster, so she'll be really pleased with that. Well, the Donny Bomber bringing in Bradley Sindon, the new man on the block. And he's what a top class resume he's amassed so far. A silver medalist at the London Grand Prix last time on home soil. Guaranteed a medal here. There's some fans watching on. There's my um, new Liverpool friend there and the husband there in the crowd looking very serious. And it is looking very serious for this young man here, Bradley Sindon. Well, he loves a meal deal, they've told me. The British team loves his scran. Can't get his teeth into this one. Gum shield in place. Our referees in the second semi final. Centre referee gets them underway. Last minute bits of instruction. We had a chance to talk to Martin Stamper, the British team coach, earlier on. And he says that Bradley's very coachable, always listening, very intelligent, and he'll need to be because Mirashim Hosseini has every trick in the book. Yeah, for me, Bradley listens to, he's a good boy. He's a, you know, he's going to be one of those that a lot of the younger generation look up to. He listens, he's respectful, he's, insp he's inspiring. So he, and he's still so young as well, so he's got a big, big future ahead of him and he's already winning on the big stages and making it to the finals. Yeah, winning on the big stages, but a big, big test now for the youngster from Great Britain. He goes against Mirashim Hosseini, the world silver medalist. He's only lost to Ide Hoon, the man you may have just seen previously. So a couple of losses on the Grand Prix circuit so far for this man in blue. But apart from that, Three silvers and he won the Asian Games as well. Never easy to do. Top class competition. Nice encouragement for Bradley here. Yeah, it's great to see the crowd cheering on the home nation there. Bradley, for me, I like the way that he also is not scared to put his presence in the ring and stand close in that distance. He likes that distance. Very similar to Ide, who obviously not quite at that level yet. No, I think that's a fair comment. They, they fought most recently in, in Taiwan in the previous Grand Prix, and as I said, Bradley came off saying how strong Edi Hoon is, but still fancies it, thinks that, give him another couple of goes at it, he yeah. may get a chance to date. Is the experience, you know, Edi Hoon's probably got like 10 years on Bradley, so, and look where Bradley is already, so again, like I said, he's got a big future ahead of him. Big future and a big challenge. Mirashim Hosseini, the man from the Islamic Republic of Iran, he's decked out in blue as they test the head guards again. As Mirashim was saying, well, he kicks it like a football there. Hopefully it worked. Looks like it from our vantage point. There we go. We've got everything crossed that we can get through three rounds with no technical difficulties. Fingers crossed indeed. Don't want any crossed wires here. Bradley sending coaching plan in his head. Mirashim was saying likewise. A patient start from the Iranian. He usually comes out quick. Sindon, we know, very good at blocking. Nice headshot attempted there from the young Britain Red. A little bit of wrestling from Mirashim Hosseini, showing his strength here as well. Knowing that she starts quick, Bradley's put that pressure on straight away. Just needs to 
tie up that shin pad there, just letting the referee know. Absolutely, and send him with a body shot. Sneaked in two points there as well. well. We'll get a chance to analyse the, the template of the Iranian style as he tries that little jumping front kick again. The shin guard has come loose as he lets loose and send in another gam jump on the board. But the Iranians, historically, great match players, very hard to get any three points on. Yeah, very, very good in defence, very strong, good at cover, got a really good presence, has really put a stamp on this first match. Round, sorry, 5-0 already. Yeah, in terms of match-up, it is the man from Iran starting well. The only thing that's not worked out for him, the only thing that's let him down is his shin guards. But he'll be getting those taped up now from his coach. And in terms of the tail of the tape, as you said, 5-0 to Iran. And Sindon, not the start he would have wanted. Nice headshot there by Bradley Sindon. He's been going for the body quite a lot, and just surprised the team there. Going for the body and sneaking up to the head. Making it look like you're going for the body, then taking it up. Which Brad is really good at disguising his shot. Yeah, and speaking of shots, he's pulled himself in to this match here. Five to four, Gamjong given. And the Brit with the headshot, a real belter there, as you see. And given Mirashim Hosseini. It looks a little bit dazed, the Iranian. Didn't expect that one. I think that Bradley, that Simon really needed that there. Looking like the match was going to come away too early. And then having to chase is never good. And kicking right on Carlio. Nice refereeing there. Didn't give away the Gamjong. Realised that they were both trying to go for it as Sindon uses that front leg again like a jab, poking it out, getting into that close distance, head to head, literally here. 30 to go in the first. There's definitely more opportunities here for Sindon to take that up to the head. But patience. Tries to change it around the corner. Goes with the back hit, another little attempt to chop kick. Good block there from Bradley Sendon. Power on the inside there, that punch maybe sneaking up the stairs. Did it land on the neck? Unintentional, I'm sure. It was unintentional, and I hope that he's just maybe been a little bit dramatic there. But you never know. Yeah, I would say that maybe the Oscars are a little bit too soon, but it did maybe slip off the protector, catch him in the neck, and it catches Sendon as he takes the gamge on for that punch there. And of course, a video replay card being played by Martin Stamper. I think he agrees with you. Lack of contact, saying no gam jump. So let, I don't know if we'll be it's privy. Difficult. It's difficult to watch, and you can always say, well, no way that hit, you know, the neck or above the chest. But, you know, when you do watch it back, we shall see. Yeah, very difficult to tell from that angle, but we're saying he straight away sinks to the mat. And it did look, well, just from this disadvantaged vantage point as if it was to the neck there. Hopefully he's OK. So Gamjong given. It could be a loss of a video replay card. Either way, I don't think it's going to affect the outcome. You know, I think it's still quite anybody's game. Yeah, absolutely anybody's game. The video replay card, will it go to the referee's pocket? They're still pondering over this one. A close one. A couple of points of a difference, and this video replay could make a difference here. Attention now, Sindon saying no, that was right on the chest. Which of course what he should be saying, when he was saying of course, the counter opinion, which way is it going to go? Who would be a judge? Thumbs up, card given back, great coaching. Yeah, excellent coaching there by Martin Stamper. But again, for me, you've seen it. If, if it doesn't hurt, get up. This is a contact sport. If you're trying to get people to get gamjungs after a little bit, you know, you're going to lose your momentum and your focus if you're going to try and get an Oscar. Yeah, no Oscar, just gamjung given for the play acting. But in terms of the main act here, one point of a difference. Not too much time left on the clock. I think the Iranians are going to have a little test again of the protector system. But you're right, keeping that composure. You said it straight away, it looked as if he made the most of it. He definitely made the most of it and probably acted out a little bit. But, you know, we can all try and get effect, try and get the gamjung for the other player. And it is part of the game a little bit, you know, I get that. 
but if time goes on, he looked like he actually blocked it with his hand there. Yeah, I would agree with that. Punch string high perhaps, but the judge saying no, and the only thing that's high is the leg there, if I say he looks a little bit. Rough and tumble from both there, last second. Well, we had tactics, we had strategy, we also had a little bit of a fight there at the end. Yeah, we see a little bit of a Let's make some noise, let's make some noise for our athletes. Look out for yourselves in the crowd as well. On the big screen, we've got our cameras. Make sure you're getting behind Team GB at the World Taekwondo Grand Prix here in Manchester. Give us a big wave, give us a big smile, as we get the action underway very soon. Iranian just 21, Sindon one year younger, but it's just one point of a difference and it was great coaching that pulled them back into it, all to play for in the second. I think for me, Sindon, there were some great options there, at first, okay, 5 nil down, it's not working, without losing composure, what can I do, he tried the spin, he mixed it up for the head, he put the pressure on. We just hopefully won't go too mad, just keep patient. Patience the wash well, as both men try to get into that close distance that you mentioned earlier on. In the pocket, eye to eye and head to head on a few occasions. That is that one point margin for Sindon. Mishima Saini, very quick at going to the head with the back leg, goes for it this time. Super close, Sindon blocks. Didn't miss by much. Not much movement from Hussini, but when he goes, very quick, very strong, and quite surprising. So you've got to be ready. Very good with that headshot on the flinch. Taking it to 8-6. Goes to target now, you can hit the back of the head in Taekwondo. So put himself back into the lead. Mirashim Hussaini. Sindon just switching off for a second there, or even a millisecond in that one. Still plenty of time, we're in the second round. Two points of a gap. I think he probably gave the wrong warning there. Yeah, I think that's a fair shoot, Martin Stamford agreeing with you. Cam John Given against Great Britain, which of course the penalty. But it looked like a push from Mirashima Saini. So Stamper's played his cards. Has he played his cards right here? Toss of a coin stamp. Looked as if he fell over from my point of view, yeah, Bradley. Didn't really look like Saini. No, it doesn't go to a PLB um, with, with his body, maybe, but I think Sindon on one leg, you know, was already trying to lean back, trying to get that head shot. So a difficult one to call, really. But Again, you know, use your car, you've got to try when you need it. And of course, coaches and fighters, they discuss who you're going to play the card or not, they'll agree, and then they'll, they'll play the card and hope for, well, no risk, no reward. This is the man with the plan at the moment. He played the card right in the first one. Eyes wide for Stamper. His eyes wide with delight. Very shame with Saini. We'll be hoping not, because it is a pivotal stage in this one. Tension now here. I like the music as well, there. Yeah, I have to say I'm impressed with your keyboard skills, you're doing well. <laughs> I'm multitasking, that's what I do now. That's what you do when you're in more me you learn how to multitask. A multitask and multi-bonus points now for Martin Stamper. Plays the card right. Two in a row. Coaching fighter, we spoke about it. The communication in terms of making up game plans. The communication spot on there. Hosseini falls foul of the ref. Sindon hit the deck. Two points of a gap here in the second. And a brilliant coaching there by Martin, saving Bradley two points there. It could be, you know, something that saved the match at the end. So, I mean, well done, Martin. Of course, the man from Iran, Mirashim Hosseini, still in contention here. A lot of time left, not just in this round. Halfway through it. Of course, this will go deep into the third. Hard to separate them. Sindon showing his strength in the clinch. Did well to avoid that chop kick to the face. I think we're going to have another impasse here, a little conversation, just to check that the protectors are working. 
not good enough. That's the only thing I can see. Sindon is aware that Hussein is very good in that short distance, bringing up that front leg right through the middle, which can be quite dangerous. He did it in the last match as well, so I think by something you saw there, Bradley was ready and aware for that. So, and he hasn't, Hussein hasn't done that yet, so he could have, he could have scored that, but Bradley was, was ready. It's interesting what you see. It's the opposite with Sindon. Hussein wasn't ready and he flicked him right in the face, trying to do the same thing there. The Iranian, the pressure is on him now. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right there, John. I think although he is winning by those couple of points, Sindon is giving him that pressure. He has to constantly be on his feet. Sindon loves, he loves creating that pressure with the distance. Again, very similar to Ide Hun, as we saw in the first match, standing in that distance not and being brave. Well, the pendulum of momentum swinging back and forth here. Mirashim Hosseini, as you rightly say, Sarah, has that lead, but the pressure from the young Brit in red as he battles forward. Did well to avoid that push kick to the face, as you said there, that stepping up chop kick. As they step back out here. And you've switched from the keyboard to the drums. I can do everything, John. <laughs> We're trying to find the rhythm here. Sindon and Hosseini. Who's going to hit the high notes? Again, the test. But the big test now, the business end of this competition. Semi-finals here on day number one. We are in Manchester. Both men still have designs on the gold. Who's going to be on the podium in which position? Sindon, he knows the position he's in, tries with a push kick to the body. I don't think the clock had started there. Hussein he takes a tumble there. A little bit more theatrics. Had a look at Martin Stamford as if to say, please play the card. He kind of did. He looked like he threw him, but I think Hussini made it look like the way. So um, he could he could actually get an Oscar today. Well, he's in. He's certainly been nominated, and this will be the third nomination for him. Hussaini hits the deck. For, for me, I understand it's a game. I understand that, you know, you've got to play also for scam jungle as well but I'm not a fan of it I'm not a fan it's kind of like a footballer diving well, we have for a penalty, penalty. Exactly. Same thing. and getting the penalty and, and winning a match yeah I get that it is important sometimes for for, more for me force them out of the ring yeah that's the where you get a gam as well or if they're grabbing in, in the short distance let the referee know they're grabbing to get a gam but for me rolling over faking things I'm not a big fan of it Judges weren't a fan of the protest of Stafford on that occasion. They sided with the man from Iran, seeing that it was a bit of a, a shoulder barge there. And a headshot just sneaks over the back of the shoulder there. Brilliant flexibility. And it is a commanding lead now for Hussaini. Headshot and body shot. Headshot taking him, taking him his focus away and then capitalising with that body shot. In that short distance, right through the middle, he's really, really good at that, Hussaini. Last 10 seconds now of an engrossing second round. Sindon was well involved. And it's now Hussaini with the quality there. Did well to hold his feet there. The young man from Doncaster. But it's the man from Tehran that finishes this second round strongly. Lovely little jumping counter from the man in blue. And he's really, as we talked about the pendulum swinging one way towards Sindon. Let's talk about Mirashim Hosseini now. He's got that bit about him. He's got real aggression. He's dug it out here. Yeah, you can see that. He really went for that headshot there, straight down the middle. Took Bradley by surprise and then capitalised again with the body shot again in the same situation. So, for me, I'm sure Bradley will be upset by that. But he did claim two points back again, so that hopefully gave him a little bit more confidence. And again, again in this, you know, 2018, this is not a big gap. It could still pull it back, it could still go either way. Well, still toss of a coin stuff, but the man with the coin in his hand is the man from Iran. He looks calm and ready. He has a lead, not insurmountable for young Bradley Sindon here, the man in red, who's going to be going for gold. Semi-final time in the under 68 kilograms. And it is an opportunity for Sindon to get back into this one here. Mirashim Hosseini. Well, he was aggressive earlier. He'll now go into conservation mode, kill a bit of the clock. 
I think this is going to be quite an exciting round. You can see both both athletes ready to take every opportunity. Two points back by Sindon. Yeah, a return of fire from Hussaini there. Getting closer, Bradley Sindon, but Mirashi Hussaini sees him in his wing mirrors, changes gear, and tries to pull off into the distance here, holding the centre of the mat and holding on to Sindon. Also, both men needing a rest here, tense and full steam ahead from both. There's still time for me. I think Bradley could do a little bit more preparation, a little bit more movement, because that would mix it up. Sneaked another headshot there, but didn't quite connect. But good option. You see, good option there. Try to the head, then to the body. Certainly not running out of options, but perhaps running out of time here. We're creeping towards well, the halfway point of this third round. Mirashim Hosseini standing stock steady in the centre. A little twisting kick, fakes it out there. Change of stance and lovely step inside from the Iranian. Eats a few seconds. A good strength from Sindon in the clinch. You see, he's very good at that surprise front leg there. Standing still, standing still. And boom, straight away that front leg. And then after, he gets momentum and creates opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, nice back leg turn and kick. Puts him within five here. Bradley Sindon on the back leg. Mirashima Seni on the back foot. Just has that five point gap. Keeping towards the last 30 seconds. Semi final. It just takes that one or two big shots. 30 seconds left. And Bradley Sindon has some great tools in his toolbox. One spin to change the game. Yep, one spin could change the game and one gam jump is going to be protested by the Iranian coach and you can see hands on knees here from Hosseini. Very tired there, very, very tired. I think, again, for me, this is not over. If Sindon can create that pressure, but Hosseini is very strong. I think he will be ready for anything that Sindon throws at him. Yep, there's no question about that and he's going to throw everything up and in two, including the kitchen sink. Can he sink a body shot and get a headshot on the board? But Mirashim Hosseini listening to his coach there. Good work from the Islamic Republic of Iran. We have you can see the lead early in the first round. Have a look on the screens to see what the outcome is. But has the momentum here in the third. Well, let's have a little look at this here. It was a gam jump given. The video replay has been rejected. And it is indeed, as you could hear the MC saying, rejected on this occasion. So the card gone for Iran. Time running out for Sindon. Tries the back kick around the corner, but yet again, the protector system not switched on. Very, very unfortunate. And in, in these dying seconds, Sindon starting fast there, trying with the spin straight away. Could have changed the game and then the system breaks. Yeah, the system breaks, not for the first time. Actually taking the TSS here, but four points of a gap. 22 seconds, the clock ticks, Sindon on the front foot. Hosseini, good bit of wrestling on the inside. Can he get his hands and his feet into the final? The Iranian in blue, the Brit in red, battling forward, Sindon, back legs from both. Excellent stuff from Hosseini, last 10 seconds, headshot from the Iranian. Almost scoring, Sindon clawing it back. Two points of a gap, ten, ten seconds, seconds to go. If Sindon can stay out of that short distance, it could sneak a little shot here. Hosseini on the cover, Sindon on the attack, but the Iranian not by much into the final there. I think we're going to have one more go from Martin Stamper. He doesn't have a video replay card left. Looking for the extra points for the difficult technique. But the referee hearing no more of it and we'll see no more of Bradley Sindon in this one. Bronze medal for the young Brit. A real battle there with Mirashima Saini. And of course we'll give plaudits and respect to Bradley Sindon. But this young man here, something a bit special there. Yeah, you could see for me he's very, very strong, very composed. I love the way that he just thinks, you think that he's just 
switched off and then all of a sudden he, su he surprises you with an attack. Check, check, gets them going back, gains momentum and that in the short distance, those high shots straight through the middle.